Hello everybody, Hardcore here, and this is the Deathbrand quest walkthrough for Skyrim Dragonborn download content. Uh, this starts actually right here at Hackner Shoal. Uh, you can get this quest um, off a pirate captain that you kill at the camp. He's a bandit leader, and he has a book that you read, and it starts a quest. If not, at the end of the quest line, you'll be able to get the uh, book if you want to pick a master lock. If not, start it this way. So there will be four chests scattered throughout the uh, the new island that are shown here on the treasure map. And they all have a piece of an armor. When you get all four, you get to go to an actual uh, crypt for the last piece of them. So here's the second one, which is located right next to Tel Mithril, which is the uh, the, the fungus place. Like the, uh, They're like mushroom houses. And these are um, expert locks. This one and the previous one, and then the last two are going to be adept locks. So this one is going to be all the way on the west side of the island. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. Then this one, as I said before, was an adept lock, as will be the last one. You have to pick all the locks to get the key to the crypt, otherwise you have to pick a master lock. So it's easier just to do this and get all the pieces first. So this piece will be on the west side as well. It's going to be by the earth stone, so you could teleport to that one, providing you had to discover just run up to it. And if, in case you're wondering, there's a fight for every one of these. Like, there's people near them that you have to kill. So just keep that in mind that you will be in encounters. They're not really, like, that threatening of fights, though. So here's a key. That is probably the most important piece you can get. And then when you go inside the actual crypt that tells you to go to, there's another book here as well. As I said, you would have to pick the lock to otherwise get in. So... This you also need an ancient Nord pickaxe in order to mine through this particular material. And this material is used to make the armor you see my character wearing, so if you're curious, that's how you get it. And you need to be able to make ebony to make that armor. So you go through and you enter this room on the fast forward, but there's over a thousand plus gold on the floor you have to pick up in piles. So go crazy. And there's other goodies in here like soul like Grand and black soul gems and potions and other rare stuff. Mostly just money though. And all the, the key will open up all the chest locks. So, beyond this gate, you're gonna have a boss battle. And it's gonna start as soon as you pick up a sword that will be at the end of the chamber. You're going to see me come in a room and look around. Don't be afraid. Uh, there will be no other enemies in this room aside from the boss that you will spawn. So run up. And you just grab that. There's a chest up there. Mine had garbage in it. You grab the blood scythe. Room starts to shake. And that will spawn the boss who will be a ghost. And he has the other sword and that will be the last piece of the armor set. As I said, garbage was in my chest. And after you kill this boss, then you're complete with the quest, so... And he really wasn't that hard. So I one shot him. <laughs> so that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Rate, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Have a good one.